everybody welcome back to my channel so today as you guys can tell by the title i am doing a lingerie review and it's by house of satin featuring their new collection called the betty Fifty collection which is very very stunning they recently got in contact with me and asked if i would try the lingerie out or whatever and i said yes and as a pinup girl, you guys know I wear lingerie a lot for photo shoots, things like that. And so I had to agree to this uh, because I've been looking for some new lingerie. And when they contacted me, I was so excited to try this out and definitely give it a review um, on here on my YouTube channel. Um, also, I just want a disclaimer to you guys. You guys know the deal. I never get paid to do anything like this. They do. They have to set in slash Betty Thrifty are not paying me to say anything in this video. They have given me some information about the collection, which I obviously would not have known without communicating with them. But that's about it, which I'm gonna tell you guys. But honestly, I'm gonna give you my own opinions on this lovely lingerie they did send me, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So let's get into the video. So they sent me some lingerie a few weeks ago, and this is the box it came in, very, very stunning. Uh, the sticker wasn't actually on here, I popped this on here, they sent me like a, a little nice uh, package inside that had the sticker on it and I wanted to keep the sticker so I stuck it on the box. Uh, they should start sticking stickers on the box, I think that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, they sent me this lovely box full of lingerie and I like it when uh, companies send it in a box rather than in just like an open package because I had that in the past and I feel like this is more like a classy way to send lingerie. So it came in this box all nicely packaged. I'll insert a picture now of what it came like when I opened it. It was really nice when I opened it up, had like this really like cute polka dot white um, wrapping and it had the Betty Thrifty sticker on top of it as well, which I thought was really, really cute. I like touches like that, that company send. And yeah, they sent me a whole load of lingerie from their collection. They sent me five items which I'm going to share with you. I'm going to show you all the items first, then I'm going to give you a bit of a background and then I'm going to give you my full honest opinion about the whole collection. So let's get into it. So I got to pick out a set that I wanted from their website and the one I chose was the polka dot one and they sent me a lot more than that which was surprising. I thought I was only going to get like a top and bottoms but they sent me three more items as well which I thought was really cool. So I'm going to show you each individual item first and um, yeah. So here's the bra. I think the bra is stunning. I absolutely love the detailing here you guys can see. The boob bit there's a bit sheer, then it goes into this really gorgeous polka dotted pattern, which I absolutely love. And I love the way the how uh, thick the straps are, shall I say, which I think is great. And they are adjustable like any other bra, which is cool. And it is not wired, which I like as well. And then to match with that, I got to pick out the knickers as well. I love high waisted knickers, so I was glad to know when, <laughs> when they were doing high waisted knickers these are really cute i love the obviously the paneling of the of the polka dots as well and the little detail of the bow there which is really really cute and there's the back the back is more sheer than the front which is one thing i like as well and the last thing they sent me with the polka dots is this suspender belt which i really really like um it's very comfortable to wear um there's a lot of things i like about this but i'm going to get into what i like about the collection in a little bit but this is so adorable. I love the bow detailing as well on that. And then they send me a girdle. I'm not a big fan of girdles, but I really did like this one. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Um, it's very, very sheer, but as you guys can see, the middle panelling is a bit darker than the rest, which really caught my eye. And it's got like the kind of like satiny bits on the side of the panelling there, which is really cool. And it is a six strap girdle which is really really cool so I like that and the last thing they sent me which I thought was really really lovely were these really cute little pajama bottom tight shorts which go with the set wonderfully sorry if they look really iridescent like really shiny red but they are really vibrant red but I think on the camera they look a bit orange it's my camera I'm really sorry um but yeah I really really like these these are really comfortable um and yeah they're just for like prancing around and I guess I really like these they're really cute so that's all the set they sent me uh to try and give a review on now I'm just going to give you guys some backstory about why they brought up this collection and things like that so basically House of Satin run a little survey earlier on in the year based of their like original fan base 
and said, guys, what collections did you like the most, things like that, and they said more of the budget-friendly collection, and this is where they kind of brought in the Betty Thrifty's collection, because since they done that survey, they obviously come out with more luxurious items and things like that, and they obviously now have decided to do the Betty Thrifty collection, which is a lot more affordable but still great great quality which I like I've seen some of that other collection they're not overly expensive but uh, they are a bit more pricey than the Betty Thrifty collection and yeah so that's one of the reasons why they decided to do the Betty Thrifty collection so they decided to do this collection as well because it suited everyone's pocket so if you were on a budget you could definitely afford something from this range which I think was really cool because of someone like me, I am a pin-up on a budget, I do work other than doing all this other stuff apart from one thing, I do work uh, like a normal person, I do have a normal everyday job and sometimes I do struggle with money myself so to know that there is a brand out there that is really budget friendly and doesn't cost like 60 to 80 pounds for lingerie is really amazing because at the moment their Betty Thrifty collection is very very cheap and affordable which I love but as I said still great quality their items are around £20 each at the moment and I think that's going to be their original price I will get uh, back to you on that I think that is their set price because obviously it is a budget friendly collection so that's one thing that really caught my eye about this collection so that is really really great also, the Betty Thrifty collection, it has a very strong 1950s vibe about it and feel, which I think is really, really great, especially for, as I said, these pinups like myself on a budget that really want, like, 1950s inspirational lingerie that you could wear and feel like you're back in time and feel confident in. That's what I really like about it as well, so that's one thing I love about this collection. So very exciting, they are coming out with some other colours for autumn, winter and Halloween hopefully. Hopefully they'll be available on the website soon which is really awesome, I have to definitely check them out. So that's kind of a, a lowdown on the information they gave me about some of this uh, lingerie they have sent and why they started the collection. I just think it's brilliant that there's a company out there that gets uh, like people on a budget and people that can't afford um, certain brands or certain like you know prices of lingerie because some bits are very very steep from certain companies and I myself cannot justify myself to spend like £50 on a pair of knickers do you know what I mean it's just ridiculous um, even if it does look amazing but for me I'm kind of this person that likes to do photo shoots and lingerie and if I'm only going to wear it once or twice then it's not really worth it but with this collection it is so affordable I can see myself wearing it times and time again as well which is cool so now I'm just gonna show you the pieces again and tell you what I like about each individual piece and things like that so let's get to doing that so as you guys can see in the thumbnail I wore the polka dot underwear which is the bra the kind of bullet bra and the, un the pants so I have to say I really like the bullet bra, um, it's one of my favourite pieces from the collection. So basically I don't really like bras that have wiring anymore, I am wearing one with wiring, I do wear them still every day but they're not my favourite thing to wear because I do sometimes feel really uncomfortable wearing wired bras and now I have found a company that is really affordable and that I can start buying like bras that are not wired that are still in the vintage style that I can wear with like um, my pinup dresses or whatever you know and it can just feel good in them because I feel like they fit my shape more as well and they don't make my boobs like bulge and feel bunched up they <laughs> I love how I grabbed my boobs when I did that <laughs> like I feel like they're more nicer with without the wiring so that just makes it feel more comfortable what I like about it as well they go to really great detailing as well you guys can see the hole in the middle that makes it very more sexy and very nice I just generally really like the bra it's one of my favorite pieces I have to say and I like how at the back as well it has like a thicker clasp bit as well so you have three things uh, to hook the bra in and I like that as well because it is thicker and the quality of these I wish you guys could feel this because the quality does feel really really nice I really do like it the only bit of boning it does have is at the side here which does not bother me at all the quality is great you can obviously pull the straps tighter or looser depending on what feels good for you so I really really don't have any problems with the bra at all I really really love it so much now for the 
bottoms. I really like high waisted bottoms, they're one of my favourite things to wear um, because as I said I'm not a really thin girl and I'm not a really big girl, I'm kind of like in between. I'm a size small but sometimes I do feel body conscious and in this lingerie I really did feel great again because I have not had, well my last photo shoot I did in lingerie was not that long ago but since then, like since before then, um, I didn't feel confident to do lingerie that much so you guys have probably noticed until recently um, I haven't been posting pictures in lingerie and stuff on my Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that so that's why and now i found, or they should, <laughs> shall I say, they found me, um, like I found a company that suits me and makes me feel really really confident in myself when I wear it because that's really hard for me at sometimes because when I'm on photo shoots and I get photographers say oh would you mind wearing this this and this I say yes but sometimes I feel really uncomfortable in it and to know that this company really does cater make you feel really nice and make you you feel good when you look in the mirror that's what I really like about it um, as well so these knickers made me feel really comfortable because they were really nice and high waisted and they kind of tucked underneath, uh, underneath my butt really nice as well so they weren't having my butt um, stick out like some like non-branded lingerie like from Primark or whatever I've had lingerie sets from there before where they are high waisted but they don't go high waisted enough and sometimes my butt hangs out even though they are my size they fit me perfectly apart from that it's just really really strange so it's nice to have a range uh, from House of Satin, uh, the Betty Thrifty collection, um, that does cater for that and if that makes any sense what I'm trying to say, I just feel really, really good in, in this bra and um, underwear set. Going on to the suspender belt, what I like about this is obviously the amazing quality, but what I like about it is the straps and how, if you guys can see, they have clear bits here where normally every one I bought off eBay, the cheap ones I bought off eBay are really like like material. I don't know what to kind of like kind of like a satiny material and they always break off. I have not had this problem and I don't think I will have this problem because of the way they are actually put on each individual one. And that really impressed me because I always have that problem where these always snap off and I always spend like 15 pounds on a suspender belt from ebay and it just breaks and what i like about this obviously it has what i like else about it as well is that it doesn't do that for a fact and these bits can obviously be tightened which i really really like so it can cater to your um leg height as well because i've had suspender belts which are made for obviously the longer uh, legged women and i'm five foot four <laughs> five foot three, five foot four, and I'm quite short, so to have something you can actually suspend properly to your height is really, really good uh, and make you feel more comfortable. And as I said, I really love they do the jelly kind of straps, which are more mm, kind of unbreakable to me because, I mean, they obviously can break, but uh, they're more durable than the kind of normal cottony type ones that you get off like the eBay ones that are really, really cheap. Um, but yeah. That's one thing I really do love about the suspender belt as well as it, what I find with sus suspender belts I've had in the past as well from like eBay as I said, they are the right size but they feel more tighter on the waist, like they don't have a lot of elasticity as you guys can see this one has, um, which, is really, which is really bad which I find. I love this one because it does give a lot of give. This uh, set is a size medium by the way so if you are a size 10 you'd have to probably get a medium to fit you better instead of a small so you would have to size up whereas a medium is a 10 I'm guessing an 8 is a small in this collection if you guys are wondering about sizes as well um, which is cool and I said I really like the girdle as well because you guys as I mentioned earlier that the panelling at the front is darker than the rest of it if you guys can kind of see that there so it won't show any of your bits off or whatever if you're at a photo shoot and that if you're really conscious or if you're like not wearing any underwear underneath which I always will be um, and I like the fact that oh, as I said before they're like the plasticky kind of um, clasp here so they do not break easily which is really good and this one is a six strap suspender belt 
I don't really like wearing girdles, that's just my honest truth, I really don't like wearing them. But I did try this one on and I really like the way I look in it and that's really new to me because I used to hate the ones that had the the girdles that have like the really big clasps at the back, kind of like a bra strap, like where you have to cl clip in the bra, it's like that on a girdle. Hate those, I've had brands that have them before hated them so much because I have a big butt <laughs> so it was a nightmare to do on your own you always had to get someone to class you in which I really didn't like and that's why I kind of like the Betty Thrifty Collection 1 because you just literally just slip it on and you're done and all you need to do is obviously attend, uh, attach your stockings to the suspenders um, part of the girdle which is easily done so I really like that for that reason <laughs> that it doesn't have like the massive clasps at the back because um, I feel like they're just a waste because sometimes they break easily, I've had brands that really break easily um, and yeah it's just nice to have a, a nice slip on one that makes you look good as well and is not too tight or too loose so that's really good so I will be wearing this for a photo shoot in the future so you guys will see that at some point and the last thing which I really love, I actually wore these to bed <laughs> the other day, they are really comfortable, just little shorties I like the bow detailing they have on them there, everything has like a nice little cute bow um, if you go on the House of Satin or the Betty Thrifty you guys will see sometimes how they make stuff they are all like handmade in the UK which is one thing that drew me to them as well I really just generally love this collection so much the shorts are comfortable, everything is 100% comfortable I would not give you guys a review on anything if I genuinely didn't like anything so I have to say this is body confidence approved because I felt so amazing in it you guys saw the Instagram pictures of me in it and you guys loved it too and I just honestly want to say thank you House of Satin and the Betty Thrifty Collection for sending me this because I generally love everything there's nothing I don't like about the collection it fits me well, I feel good in it, I feel more confident when I wear it and I just overall love it and it is very affordable so if you guys want to check out the collection I'll link them in the description bar down below yet again disclaimer I'm not being paid at all to give this review this is my own 120 million percent my honest opinion and you guys know I'm very real on this channel I never give um, a review if I generally do not like something or I generally love everything in this collection I think it's amazing it's really affordable for you pinups who are on a budget like myself and if you just want to feel great in lingerie then you guys should definitely check out this Betty Thrifty collection and I love that it's really 1950s in bulk because it's my favourite era I love everything from the 1940s, 50s and anything beyond that so I really love it so thank you House of Satin for sending me this gorgeous lingerie and I generally love it so thank you so much um, for doing that and I'll be wearing it for a proper photo shoot very very soon um, uh, so yeah so keep your eyes out for that guys so anyway guys and dolls that's it for today's video I hope you guys and girls really enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment in the comments and subscribe only if you guys and dolls want to and I will see you in my next video remember to smile Stay positive and have a very good day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you very soon. And...